So it's been a long time since I've talked about M-Size. I happen to be browsing an online library um, and came across some digitized brochures from the MSI company. Um, I've actually gotten a few comments on my MSI um, videos that people were quite, weren't quite sure whether it was a real computer or not uh, and whether it had been uh, made just for the uh, War Games movie. I think they just probably watched one video of the thing talking and didn't look at all my videos of me repairing one. Um, but they were curious that this was a real computer. And so here, here's definitely proof that, yes, it was a real computer. Uh, it was an MSI Corporation, IMS Corporation in, uh, in Silicon Valley here. A little bit north of Silicon Valley, but I'll call it Silicon Valley. So here's the first uh, brochure, um, and this is nice color brochure, shows the MSI, shows a box of floppy, floppy disk drive in the back, and I'm not sure what the other thing is, might be a modem, TT, uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, they talk about how it can run BASIC, or uh, it has floppy disks, blah, 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 quality, it's a nice picture of the inside. Um, and then the kind of the uh, other things that you can buy. So let's let's zoom on zoom in on this one. <clears throat> so this is a 1977 brochure. Wait for this thing to render. There we go. Um, so we've all seen what it what it looks like. Let's go to the next page here. Uh, so. Yeah, line printers, serial printers, TV output, uh, software, all kinds of cool stuff that you can have. Um, let's see here. Expandability and adaptability. Um, yeah, simplicity. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Yeah, there's that, there's that nice picture. Um, economical. <laughs> it was not economical. It was very expensive, but maybe for the day it was economical. Otherwise, you'd have to go buy a PDP-8 or something. Um, send a dollar for the catalog. Uh, so here we go. 8080A. Uh, 64K of RAM. Uh, register and cycle time of 2 microseconds. Anyway, it's kind of fun. This is my favorite. Here's the power, 120 volts at 28 amps. Yes, 28 amps. Yikes. Uh, that's a lot at 120 volts. <laughs> that is a lot. Uh, okay. Let's look at uh, the next brochure here. Uh, the complete microcomputer system. Uh, this one is pretty lengthy. Uh, Talks about specifications, basically the same thing. Choose from one of the basic microsystems. Uh, oh, it talks about a lot of these things. Um, memories unmatched performance. Different memory cards that you can buy. Uh, it talks about the bus, interfacing. It talks about peripherals like floppy disks and a printer. Hazeltine terminal, probably. Um, and then here's the price list. So this is really interesting. So the basic computer system, this is just the box. Um, I think you got the box and maybe the CPU card, if I remember right. It was uh, $699 in kit form. You have to put it together. Or the assemble price is $931. This is 1977. So... Uh, definitely kind of small car pricing, probably. Um, anyway, uh, lots of things that you could buy. Um, oops. Memory was, 4K of memory was uh, 280. Uh, ROM was $600. Uh, multiple I.O. card was $350. Uh, serial card... $200, $300? Wow. Yeah, it was expensive to put a system together. 
Uh, here we go. Then you needed it. Remember that has no input or output. You have to buy a video display to go with it. So video display cost you $1,600. $1,600 was a ton of money back then. Uh, so much more than the computer itself. Um, here's some books that you can buy. User guide was $50. Yikes. Um, and then if you can read sideways, some other things that you can get here. Socket set. Oh, you can put sockets on it. So the sockets didn't come with it, so you had to buy buy sockets to put on there. Craziness. And then uh, some some companies had it for sale. So the MSI 8080 kit. So this looks like it's just the kit. I don't think there's a CPU card. So it's just the motherboard and the front panel. $575 plus $10 shipping. Um, Yeah, I don't know exactly what all came with. Here, paper tape reader, 275. So Ithaca Audio was selling it. That's interesting. So they were selling S100 cards, but you could actually buy the MSI, the MSI from them as well. And here's how you order. You, you order by filling out a form with pen and paper and mailing it <laughs> and sending a check. Uh, ooh. Oh, you can phone it in. Wow, they were quite fancy back then. You could phone it in with a Master Charge or Bank America card. Remember those Bank America card? Method of payments, blah 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 blah. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. I thought you'd get a kick out of that.